Below reset is new workspace. You'll have to give it a unique name. Here I'll call mine Graphics Girl. If I called it GG, like the one I currently have up, it would replace over my existing workspace. So this workspace will capture my panel locations and menu customization. When you click OK, now in the upper right hand corner, it says Graphics Girl. Hello, creative. It's your Graphics Girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So now I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through how you can create your own workspace, whether it's these panels or ones that you'll use. So I'll start with one of the presets so that my screen looks like yours. Here at the top, I'll show the workspace called Topography. So to get to the default of any one of these built-in workspaces in InDesign, you could choose to reset that workspace. Doing that brings me to its original setup. Meaning if I had come here to window and I showed this panel called overlays, right? And I grabbed that panel by its title bar at the top and I pushed it in there. You see here, I've added this panel to the workspace called topography. Now, as I move to a different workspace and then come back to topography, it will remember my last setting. So if someone is using your machine and they add a whole bunch of panels and they have them all over your screen and you want to return your workspace to its original format, you would come here and choose reset. So now you can see at the bottom, I no longer have that overlays. So from the drop down below reset, is new workspace. You'll have to give it a unique name. Here I'll call mine Graphics Girl. If I called it GG, like the one I currently have up, it would replace over my existing workspace. So this workspace will capture my panel locations and menu customization. When you click OK, now in the upper right hand corner, it says Graphics Girl. So to show each one of these panels, you come to your window menu at the top. You'll then toggle down to the info panel. So when you show your info panel, it might appear to be free floating. That's fine. You can organize them and then dock them. And then other times the panel that you want to show is already in the workspace and you would see it over here. If that's the case, then you could grab it by its tab and pull it out. Okay. So you can see here that once again, you have a free floating panel. So you'll go ahead and show each one of these pages is right here, layers and links. So imagining that you have these four here, you would grab it by its title bar, that bar there at the top, and push. Now until you let go, wherever you see the blue highlight is where your panel will be docked. So if I come to my first group here and go to the top and let go, that's where it will place the info panel. Similarly, here I am with my character panel. I'm going to grab it and push it into the second grouping at the top. Now, some of these panels may appear to be hiding from you under the window menu. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. 
And some of these include the color, gradient, and swatches, all for you there under the color submenu. Any one of these that have the arrow to the right. Editorial, interactive, object and layout. These are the ones that I show below for the align, pathfinder, and transform panels. Next, styles has your character styles, object styles, paragraph styles. If you do a lot of tables, you might like to show the table styles. Type and tables. This is where a lot of folks can't find the character panel, but you would have your character, perhaps you would have your paragraph panel here. I show some of these panels when I'm doing longer multi-page layouts that include cross-references and indices. And the last one is utilities, but honestly, I don't use this one all that much. Uh, if you write your own scripts and things like that, you might need to use this panel. But the two tricky ones that almost every InDesign user can't find are character, because you would think it would be in that first layer of the window panel, but it's under types and tables, and some of these other panels, such as the Pathfinder and Transform and color gradient and swatches panels. So once you have all of those panels shown and then docked, you have your final workspace. The last step is to move it in place. You can see here as I come over to the right hand side that once I get that light blue highlight that my entire workspace panel can then dock. One last note from the drop down: if you ever want to delete a workspace that's located for you directly below the new workspace. So I could go ahead and select delete workspace and from the drop down I would choose let's say graphic scroll and delete. Now the only one I had my previous one called GG. So if I wanted to add to this any of the panels that I see here under the window menu such as uh, Preflight, the preflight panel. If I wanted to grab this and add it to the top, let's say below info. Now I've made a change. I'm going to go ahead and dock it. So now to save this though, so not just in its final configuration, but save over my existing workspace, I would come here to new workspace and call it the exact same thing. The spelling and everything has to be identical or it will make an additional workspace. By selecting GG, which is my name of my current workspace, it will ask you, a workspace with that name already exists. Do you want to replace it? Why, yes I do. So now, when I come back to here and reset my GG, workspace, it will remember. It won't change because I've saved that workspace. So you could put your panels in the configuration that you want and then select new workspace to give it a name. Or you can start with new workspace, but then be sure to save over it in your final configuration. So if anyone should come to your machine, you could always come back and reset it. And it'll be set up the way you want it to be set up. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.